A student at Gosnell High School is sharing her story tonight after she was tased at school. Good afternoon and thanks for joining us. I'm Greg Hurst. Hi, I'm Stephanie Skurlock. The incident happened after a pair of students squared off. The reason for the fight is still unclear. WRD's Mike Suriani talked with a 16 year old who says she was tased and is now traumatized. We've been in trouble before. It's never happened to me before. 16 year old Monteria Hancock has plenty of oh. questions about why she was tased twice last week at Gosnell High School during a fight with another student. Stop. Hey, I'm going to tase you. Stop. I'm going to tase you. Stop. Stop. I'm going to tase you. Stop. I'm going to tase you if you don't stop. Stop. Hey, do, I, do you want me to tase you? Stop. This Gosnell Police body cam video was given to WREG by Monteria's grandmother, who says the officer doing the tasing is the Gosnell Police Department's chief and not the school resource officer. This is a girl. She have no weapons. She's laying on the floor. You tasing her and she's screaming. And that was, that was the most terrifying scream a parent or a grandparent can hear. Anna Jones says her granddaughter has been bullied at school and believes things came to a head last Tuesday, but doesn't understand why only Monteria was tased and neither does the 16-year-old. He comes straight to me and dives straight on me and her foot's dead in my chest. But he tases me. She says she was tased twice on her right thigh and her wrists were bruised after she was handcuffed. Anna Jones, who works at Gosnell Junior High, was not notified about the incident and says the youngster was taken to the principal's office with no legal guardian present. You got good grades, don't you? She's a good student. I don't want to hit that up. I don't want to mess it up for you. But you've got to relax. Gosnell's mayor calls the incident disturbing and he's contacted the city attorney. All of us are working together reviewing films and coming up with an idea of what was going on, exactly what had happened. In Gosnell, Arkansas, Mike Suriani, WREG News Channel 3. Anna Jones says the family is considering legal action against Gosnell Schools and the Gosnell Police Department. No one at the Gosnell Public Schools was available for comment, nor was the city's police chief.